Welcome back everyone, Mate Talk Time. We're improvising. We're going off to see my good friend Kevin. For those who missed the last week Mate Talk, he introduced me to Banmi. Banmi. Today I'm going to introduce him to Membrillo. That's a, uh, it's quince essentially. It's, a, it's something that I make. Here's my, my quince tree. This is me making my quince or my uh, membrillo, and today I'm gonna show him that. Hey, <laughs> my man! Oh, what's this? I got something for you. Okay, I, what's I, up, bro? Hey, here, I'll give you that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna get the rest. I've got, yeah. I've got mate for you, bro. Okay, let's get it. I surprised Kevin. Uh, today's his day off. Yeah. And I'd been asking him, it was almost like you're my girlfriend. Because <laughs> I'm like, so what are you doing on Monday? What's happening on Monday? Are you. Um, like, God, this guy's so annoying. Because <laughs> I know that Monday's his day off, and I knew that you were doing like clean up or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, so anyway, so I thought today's the best day because it's no customers. And yeah, yeah. Whenever I walk in and there's customers, this man is so like, he's like the Terminator. He literally like pushes me away. <laughs> And he's like focused on the people. So I knew that today was a good day to do Good this. time to do it. Apologies for dressing a bit sporty. Your boy's going to the gym later. Look at you know these muscles. Look at these we're, guns. we're going to Italy soon, oh, so you know. Oh yeah, they, you know what I mean? they want to see that. The Aussie. The thing. Asian like persuasion. <laughs> so today I've actually got also. So cool. we're gonna do we're gonna do last week you yeah. guys liked the mixture between food and fragrance. So comments were popping off. It were. It was awesome. Which is awesome. Really yeah. awesome. Yeah. So today, what I'm going to do, we're going to talk about membrillo. I'm going to let him know, uh, let Kevin know what that even means. It sounds like a perfume. We're going to do, it's not. <laughs> we're going to do mate. I've got mine. I bought a little piccolino one for, for my friend here. Okay. I'm, I, I'm curious to see what his expression is going to be like. Um, but I'm going to tell you now. Yeah. We're also going to do perfumes. Yeah. Fragrance note. I want you to think while we're doing this. That complements what we're doing. No, not necessarily. Just tell me one of your favorite fragrance note yeah. that you love in perfumery or maybe something that you've sort of fallen in love with. Yeah. And then you've got a whole store. I want you to pick three fragrances. You want, I, I got some. I don't, I don't want to okay. say anything because I don't, want right, to, right. I don't want to put anything in your brain. Okay. Cool. So I mentioned, and you saw the video, I've got my own quince tree. So there's a fragrance called um, Dolce Amalfi. Yes. Casamorati. Casamorati's. Yep. The, the prevalent note in that is quince. Yep. That, that sweet, actually, I want you to smell it, bro. So I'm gonna cut a little piece. Yeah. Just take that. I just, oh yeah. Uh, fruity, right. more sweeter than a fig. Yep. Sweeter than a pear, kind of a bit, smells a bit jammy, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. That, and that's what it looks like too. Mm -hmm. um, thank take you, that, bro. Take that. It's beautiful, huh? Yeah. Wow. So, Membrillo goes so perfect, and this is what I want to do a pairing yeah. for you for you today. What? You didn't explain to me what's Membrillo. Membrillo. Okay. So it's quince, but it's um, the way it's prepared. So it becomes like this gelatin. I, I make Membrillo every year. I like I like, and this goes perfectly with cheese. Yeah. Okay. And the cheese that it goes best with is because Membrillo is a Spanish uh, from Spain. Yeah. So sorry, pardon my fingers, but no. I clean my hand, um, and that's. Manchego, so the, the the creaminess of yeah, boom. <laughs> yeah, mm. how good is that? So the manchego is very creamy, um, very subtle, nutty almost, and with the membrillo, the two, the sweetness and that, the quince flavor, beautiful, isn't it? Oh, the cool. Asians are missing out. This is some. Um... <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's really nice. It's subtle. It's not like like last week we did the the bun mi. Mm. Yeah. Boom. Okay. Um, and that was like flavors and spice. Very packed in. Yeah, food. yeah. Yeah. Whereas this is there's this plays on subtlety. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm gonna give you another cheese. Yeah. This is now because we're going to what, Italy. And what cheese is this? This is provolone. Where do you find this kind of cheese in? Like what? Everywhere now. But in the old days, this yeah. is a, if I'm not mistaken, it's a sheep based cheese. I'll put if it's not that. Yeah. Taste that together. Now the provolone is a little bit sharper, but the sweetness of the quince and the tang and the sharpness of the cheese, it's a different experience. Yeah, I feel like it's a bit more gritty. Yeah, right. I much prefer that first one. Yeah, manchego. Yeah. Well, manchego is, again, membrillo, Spanish dish, 
Manchego cheese is the perfect companion for Membrillo. It's like oud and rose together yes. as a yeah, fragrance. Okay. I mean, yes. just that like, yes. it's like a match made in heaven. So, uh, but I, I, the reason why I bought you the provolone is because we're going to Italy. Yeah. And you want to get that Italian flavor, a yeah. bit sharper. The Manchego is smoother. The yeah. Italians are a little bit bolder. This is like a bold, a bit grainy. Yeah, it's the salt. Ah, oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Interesting texture. Yeah, very beautiful. Isn't yeah, it? yeah. All right, three perfumes. What's the fragrance so, now? I'm the gonna note. I'm gonna prepare our mate while yes, you do okay. this, all right? The note is, and I'm curious to know if 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 this note is gonna be prevalent in this mate. I've never experienced mate in my life. Big fan of mate talk. Watch it every week. Always wanted to taste test one, so this is gonna be great. Um, the note I've chosen is vanilla. Nice. So vanilla, because there's some food, it's a note yeah. that I find one of the only notes that really carries all year round. Mm -hmm. You can find some fragrances with vanilla in winter, but also in spring, summer. Right. Um, should I grab my first one? Yeah, okay. please. Because I've got your mates ready. This first one... Um, I'm going to drink my mate. This one I'm very, very excited to show you because it is a new arrival. Now what it... This is called Carpe Cafe, which is by Daniel Gallagher, by Gallagher Fragrances. Mm. Good house. This was a very famous limited release a few years ago and it went into their vault. So they are a house that does this where because of many reasons, like maybe they run out of the ingredients, right. they'll put a fragrance into the vault and it disappears for a few years. Mm. So this one has been brought back. Now they've changed the ingredients a little bit. Um, this one is a coffee fragrance with mm. a very rich and creamy French vanilla. Man, that, today the weather here yeah. is disgusting. It's just gloomy. It's cold. Rash. Yeah. It's, cold. it's rainy. So that would. I'm gonna say this is this is this where is like I would wear warm. Yeah. This is you want to wear something warm, right? Or just that coffee that, are, that yeah. aroma. I'd be curious about right. this one. Okay. So here we go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we both. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's really good. So you're getting Colombian coffee? Yeah, I was gonna say it's a very realistic coffee though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not like, yeah. It's hard to find a realistic coffee. Yeah, right. And Colombian coffee is like the perfect name for it. It's a bit of sharpness to it. Name. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then there's I have that on yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh, sure. There we go. So you have um, some cypress, myrrh. So some smoky myrrh in there. Funny, I'm picking up more the incense on. Yeah, on yeah, yeah, on, yeah. On the card. The, the coffee really yeah. pops, but, but on skin, the yeah. incense of the coffee is still there. Yeah, and then you have a really nice amber product. sandalwood. So this is brand new. New, um, and I think it is back to its uh, limited release vault. Right. So we only have a small shipment, and worldwide, everyone, every store only gets a small shipment, right. and we're done. Right. There's no second shipment. So if I sell out of this in the next like two, three weeks, it's gone. Getting like a slight leathery note coming through. The, yes, the yes. Amber sort of. Smoky. Absolutely. It's like, it's like a smoky coffee, mm. but you do get, for me personally, I get a vanilla. Aussies, get on this. Yeah. So if you have access to uh, Oligo, check this thing yeah. out. So you've only got limited numbers, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. I may have to talk to you about maybe purchasing. Getting a bottle later. <laughs> <laughs> this All is right. really good. Yep. In the meantime, yep. so mm. um, can you run me through? Because uh, what I'm looking at is not what I imagined. Okay, right. You call it a mate. In my head, I always thought it was kind of like this Argentinian coffee. Right. Um, it's tea. It looks more like a tea. It is, yeah. So it's a, it, the yerba mate is the plant. Oh, okay, it's, it's, so it's, it's, a, it's plant. a plant. That, it's a plant. And then they dry it. Yeah. I won't take it out because it's all, but I'll, I should have showed you what it looks like. Yeah. It's green in color. Um, it's very rich and robust in flavor. So I'm going to give you a heads up. In its own distinct flavor. In its own, it, it's bitter. Okay. It has a real, so normally, it's okay, safe. so what we're, you're, it's, I'm getting like a sweet milky tea. Okay. Like a creamy tea. That's what it smells like. Now, we're about to drink it. In Argentina, we call it gaucho style. Gaucho is a South American or Argentinian cowboy. Yeah. They never put sugar in there. Okay. I never put sugar in. Yeah. One, because I don't want to drink that much sugar, yeah. basically. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it's very, very bitter. So good luck. Just, it, is this supposed you, to be healthy for you? So when you drink, it is super healthy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so when you drink it, don't drink it like a bubble tea. So like, don't. Don't. <laughs> yeah, it's hot. All right. So just drink it carefully. Pull your tongue backwards a little bit so you don't burn your tongue. Oh, <laughs> that's like a, <laughs> oh, it's bitter. It's, 
That's like any tea I've ever had in my life. No. <laughs> oh, okay. This is my tea. It looks like a tea, but it doesn't taste like a tea. No. It tastes this is, like... You have never tasted anything like this. What the hell is this? It tastes so, like... Because uh, you, you're, you're probably familiar with a green tea or a jasmine tea, yep, yep. which is, you know, a tea based. Yes. Whereas this is yerba mate, completely different. The hell. Can I be honest? I, I want, I love honesty. Honesty is important. I don't like it. <laughs> Which is fine, which is normal. I thought it would be a little bit sweet. No. Well, there's no sugar. So, uh, I, I was actually tempted to bring some sugar for Kevin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I want you to drink it mate yeah. style. Because, just like like anything, when you when you start throwing sugar into things, you throw the flavor off. Yeah. You start to distort yeah. what it's true. Yeah. You know? Um, you begin this Italy or not? <laughs> mm -hmm. Will they have this in Italy? They don't have this. So, what I'm going to be doing, I've actually reached out. I'm speaking to a number of, uh, so we're gonna be meeting up with, actually we're meeting up with Carlos from Paris Monte Carlo. Let me show you. Paris Monte Carlo, quite a new house that we've just brought to Australia, but they're a house of a lot of history. We're gonna go to a town, it's, a, it's in the um, sort of the, the lake district, uh, Desenzano. We're gonna meet Carlos and we're gonna, <clears throat> I'm gonna do a mate talk with Carlos. We're gonna drink some mate. Um, so we're going to be doing mate talk throughout Italy. That'll be cool with him. And I, I think and by the end of Italy, yeah. you're going to be drinking mate. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> I'm going to have some sugar on the side. Like. <laughs> what are you doing, man? <laughs> yeah. Cheers, brother. Cheers, man. To our trip. Next week. Next week. Uh, last, for, last fragrance. So one more, one more. All right, one more. So the next one I have is a, one that I it instantly popped in my head. This is one that we had from Lorga Parfum's first collection. Um, but is one that didn't get much love, not as much as some of their other big, big names. This is called Nectar Cachet. It has the note of vanilla. Um, it does it in a very unique way. I'm gonna put that on skin. I know this fragrance. Okay. And it is. Oh. Oh. All right. You know what? I'm gonna go to. Yeah. Boom. On All a right. day like today, Oof, this is just. Nectar Cachet, we're talking vanilla, dates. Um, a very smoky honey, and because you're my honey brother, yep. I thought this, this is the one. one. <laughs> this is the one. <laughs> this is this is oh, this is spectacular. Smooth, yeah. yeah. If yeah. you love honey mm -hmm. and vanilla, um, you get this kind of smoky sweetness. Mm. Not too sweet and so different. So this one here, yeah, the coffee is slightly not bitter, but it has a sharp. It's, it's sharp. Quite sharp. sharp. I was gonna say sharp. Yeah. Um, the incense is definitely the coffee still coming through. Yeah. yeah. Whereas this one here is seduction. It's yeah. love. Smooth. Yeah. It's, it's like a intimate fragrance. Yeah. It's good worries. That's it. Mate talk done. Thank you so much. Thanks, mate. Thank you. I, I thank you for letting me. I, I felt bad when I saw your face. You're like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> like, we're shooting again. Again? <laughs> again? Yeah. So and but, I do appreciate yeah. you uh, letting me come in. That'll be. Um, you thought it'd be cool for everyone to jump on again because that last video that we did yeah that was fun that was a good one that was fun yeah and this is again this is going to be a taste of italy so we've, yeah. we've already got some ideas for italy that we're going to do together yeah uh, we're even going to teach you how to speak italian me yeah okay remember, yeah, yeah, remember yeah, that yeah, line yeah. that i gave you uh bon ben, ben oh no this is a ben or something buongiorno amici ah okay okay Buongiorno amici, mi chiamo Kevin. Boom. Ooh. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll see you guys on the next Mate Talk. Bye. It's done. Boom. That's sharp. <laughs> <laughs>